All right, good fellas, we're back over here with one of our fellow members, Mr. Tank McGee. We're here to give you guys an awesome review, or try to, on this Tower Hobbies Alloy Fur Force Cutback. We're going to do a little unboxing of it first for you, and show you how it comes in the box. All oh. right. Here's what we got, Larry. Came with some... Duratrax Bandito rims and tires, pre-glued street wheels. Nice. Came with a full set. Those were thrown in for free from Tower Hobbies. Awesome. This whole package, after the coupon code was used, was two hundred and sixty-six dollars shipped. That's ship. Shipped. And that's a four by four. Four by four. Brushless. Brushless. RTR. I'll be damned. Huh. Comes with this uh, beautiful remote, classic Fly Sky 2.4 gigahertz style remote. Yeah, looks about like it. Did they give you batteries with it? Nope, you have to supply your own batteries. But what is great about it is that it is convertible. Ah, we can put a battery pack in To that, a dude. battery pack. Ah. If that is what you would like Hell. to do. Yep. Yeah. And from the research that I've done, it will hold the small, normal battery pack that would you, you would use just fine. So there wouldn't be a reason to try and find anything to make it work. Nice. Of course, you have all of your controllable things. This thing is very tight. All of your adjustments right there. Cool. And on the Tower Hobbies website, you can get the charger to charge your controller awesome so let's go ahead with the car Larry oh yeah I want to see this bad boy all right let's see we'll pull it out of the box what we got in the box everybody well looks like we're gonna have some additional possible spur gear in there and some other looks like some servo horns and some other miscellaneous plastic pieces but right on all right came with a bind button or a bind plug for your receiver and the owner's manual which Nobody looks at. Yeah, nobody cares. We're all professionals here. Let's break this bad boy open. All right, I got the pins and stuff over here. Larry and I have already taken her down. Look at that body. So we could get some pictures of her. You can see. It's a nice looking body. The alloy force, of course. All right. All right. Almost a carbon fiber look on the back there. It's almost uh, all of this is a carbon fiber look. Uh, the body. We'll take her off, take the lid off here. It's it's pretty thin, um, but time will tell. It's a body. We'll bash it. We'll beat it up. And, yeah, in the know. next video, yep. We'll definitely. Yeah, that'll that be the next the video. Test. There we go. All right, there's what we want to see. Right there. Well, that right there is a four pole, 3600 kV brushless motor. That's a Tower Hobbies branded motor. That is a Tower Hobbies branded motor. It has an 80 amp brushless waterproof ESC. Waterproof on and off switch right here. As which we all know that will probably end up getting wired together because we all hate on off switches. I agree with that. It comes with a Dean's plug which I'm, I don't really care for. Um, a lot of people use them. I, I, they're, they're not a problem. Um, I'll call it a Dean style plug because I don't really believe it's Dean's. Right, it's I agree. It's just the style. Most uh, Deans are red. That one's right. black. I'll probably change that later just because I'll be changing over batteries to Larry's Traxxas ID style. That'll be later, of course. Uh, we have battery straps here. That's I love that. I would much rather have these to be adjustable. Than the little pins. Than the little pins. That way, you and know, if I want to put a bigger, thicker battery in there, I can just do that. Uh, this thing is supposedly, according to Tower Hobbies, if you look on the website or in the magazine, this is their bash-proof short course truck. Now, we will be putting that to the test on the next video. Tires don't look too bad. The tires aren't too bad, of course. They're generic they're type tires. They're, they're hard. You know, the, the foams feel really hard is the thing. Yeah. And the edges, the corners of it. Yeah. And Those are going to probably wear well, I would say. It looks like we have buggy body mounts here as well for a buggy conversion later on possibly right 
we'll have to see how that goes. I got better picture the pics of these parts and stuff, so you guys can see them in the pictures. They'll be posted with the video. I hope. Right. We just spent probably 15 minutes doing all the pics of it. Um, it does have mud flaps, which I will be replacing Woo. with Goodfellas mud flaps, of oh, course. Yeah. Mr. Chris Browning's going to supply those for us. That is correct. Uh, this is a waterproof setup according to Tower Hobbies. Like I said, it was 266 shipped after using the coupon code. Um, so I got the metal drive shafts in it? It's got metal drive shafts. It's got metal CVDs. Uh, everything in this is, is really, all the internals are metal. It's got uh, steel gears and the, the differentials. Right. Um, aluminum shock towers. The shocks are plastic uh, housing, they're, but they are adjustable. Yeah, they're threaded. They are threaded and adjustable shocks. They don't feel too bad. They're mean, not too bad. I'd say they could spongy. probably use some different weight oil. Yeah, they're a little spongy. But we'll see after we run and, and find out. Yeah. Um, it's got center diff, which I really like. Yeah. The center drive. Um, steel, it's got aluminum uh, what bulkhead pieces. The hinge pin yeah, braces. Yeah, hinge pins braces and aluminum braces back in here. The uh, it's the A-arms, they don't seem really thick, but they are well braced, it seems. They have a lot of extra bracing in them. So... Yeah, I noticed. I noticed that when I looked at it a minute ago. It it is a little thinner looking, but there's now a what lot we have, more cross bracing going. I, I'm not sure how this is going to work out just yet, but if you look here, on each side, might be a little dark. Yeah, sorry about that. Yep. On each side, there's another mounting hole, and the same for back here. I wonder what that's for. That's what I'm wondering. It looks like another shock. Could Are the be, arms flippable? That Well, that's what I'm wondering. If something like that could possibly... They're left or right. Yeah, so... The arms are, look to be swappable. I would say your left one would fit on the right. You just flip it and it'd be good. I would think we'd be okay right there with that. Um, we couldn't find out. We looked and did some research on the uh, servo, how many ounces of torque it would have. It is an S139WP Waterproof Tower Hobbies branded servo. Uh, we could not find the torque ounces on that, even on the Tower Hobbies website. So we're going to say it's probably... But it did say it was rated for a Revo. It, yes, it did say it was rated for an E-Revo. Um, I'd say it'd probably be comparable to I'd, whatever Traxxas right. is E-Revo. The, the, the 2075, right. I, I'd say it's probably comparable to that. Um, I do like... <laughs> The setup, uh, everything's clean. It looks a lot like a Losi. It, well, from the research I've done, Larry, this is a basically a rebranded Losi. Um, I mean, it's got that whole aluminum chassis on the bottom there. Right. I mean, that's all aluminum. And if you look at the the complete setup here, the way it's all laid out, it, in the all the layout, the, the battery straps, everything looks like it would be a Losi brand. Even the the buggy mounts. Now, according to Tower. Every plastic piece on that truck is one year replacement if you're a member. One year replacement if you're not a member, one year replacement. If you are a Tower Hobbies Pro member, every piece of plastic on this truck has a two year replacement warranty. According to what they tell According you. According to their their website. And I did call them before I ordered this and I said, I'm very hard on short course trucks and you're telling me that this is a bash proof short course truck so i'm just letting you know yeah. before i order it We're gonna put i'm that gonna to the test yeah i'm gonna beat the hell out of it and they said any plastic part that you break you have a one year warranty on you send it back we'll send you another part they also said that since i'm a tower pro member i have a two year warranty on all these parts so tower's gonna I, get really sick and tired of hearing from me I, I would almost consider ordering like an extra set of a arms and stuff and that way when you break yours you can send one set in that, Wait that's, on the return. that's what I'm thinking. That way I've got it ready to go. Should be ready to go out the door. Something else I really liked on this, guys, is I don't know if I can zoom in. Maybe I can bring this up here. Is the way they run their motor wires. See that? I don't know if I can get my camera to focus. They run their motor wires right through the top of the transmission housing here, and it keeps them all in line. Nice, clean, so they're not laying every which way, getting inside your drive shafts and stuff. But I thought that was pretty cool. And also, we want to point out the angle of the drive shafts. 
Yeah, they're pretty steep. They, they are a steep Whoop. angle, but according to Tower Hobbies, that is designed that way. That I was concerned at first, but they tell me that is the actual, the way it's supposed to be designed. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There you go. That's a pretty steep, that's a pretty steep angle there. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see how she runs. Yep, that will be this weekend. We'll be taking her out. We're going to give her a full-on bash session. Um, we're going to put some packs through it. Oh, yeah. we got to figure out where we're going to take it right now. Uh, where we were going to take it, has got snow on it. And we want to give an honest review. And let's face it, in the snow is not really a very honest review because it's going to slide everywhere. Right. I mean, we're going to beat I, it up. I want to think we're going to throw it on some pavement, see how she, the body rolls, and see if we get any traction rolling out of it, which I'm sure we will. Because them tires are pretty hard on the edges. Well, and we will try these tires as well. Yeah. We have no problem taking them off. Speaking of tires, Larry. Right. Let's go ahead. We'll yank one of these off because of what we noticed earlier. I think it was that, that one. Was it, was it that one we took off so. earlier? I think that was a loose one we already loosened up for you. That might be. It has metal hexes with screws that hold it in. Yeah, it's got the set screws that set hold, screws to the to hold, them, hold it right to the axle. So it's not like tracks, it just right, slides on. It's not just going to pop off. And like I was saying, everything on here, drivetrain wise and in the, in the differentials and the transmission, all steer, all steel. Um, except the spur gear. The spur gear is plastic. I don't mind that. I don't either. Um, it's going to save the tranny. It is going to save the tranny. That's that's meant to be the weak point, and that's great. That's why it comes with an extra one. And that motor looks a little small. I'm thinking we could probably fit something bigger up in there later on. And I'm thinking that's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> really going to put it to the test? You know, we will, uh, we will definitely be putting it to the test. Like I said, this is brand new. We haven't, I've had it. I got it in the mail Monday and uh, I told Larry I would wait so we could do an honest review of a brand new product, not something that I got in the mail and went ahead and ran around out in the yard and beat it up for a while. Uh, I, I want you guys that, to that know was tough that was tough. My wife herself even said, I don't think you can do it. I, I'm honestly impressed. 266 bucks. Brand new RTR, ready to rock and roll out of the box. All you need is a battery whenever this comes to your door. That's that's a pretty good deal. And I it's mean, an 80 amp ESC, so it will run a 3S. Give or take some time getting your parts back when they break or whatever. But Well, like you said. It's 200, what? What's Traxxas 4x4s right now? 2505? Four, five, oh, five, yeah, 540. Five, well, they're having a sale, I think, of 519. For the 4x4 Slash right now. Yeah, they're around 500 to, depending on which yeah. model you get, the Platinum or whatever, they go up to like, yeah. Yeah, so they go so up to a ridiculous less, price. You're, you're looking at half the cost of a Traxxas 4x4. Oh, yeah. If it holds up three quarters, three and fourths I, the way. I'll tell you what, here, here's my thing. I hope I'm not setting myself up for, for disaster here, Larry, because I've always been a Slash 4x4 fan. You know that. I bashed them in the dirt and beat them to death, and... I've always had good luck with them, except for the Valenium motors. I'm a little iffy no, on that. Give and take. Give and take on. Iffies. It's like any electronics. One day, right. they, one day, one one you get, they run six months. The next one you get, right. they run a day. Right. And like I said, I love the Slash Four by Four. I beat I beat them to death. I've owned several now, um, but for the price, and it's brand new. I mean, let's face it, if you had a, a 4x4 slash used, Larry, I couldn't buy it off of it for 266 Probably not. Brushless, right. you know? So, for, and it, it's brand it's, new. And this has got the aluminum shock towers on it, the plate on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, this is training, upgraded from the factory. All steel drivetrain. Steel I'm diffs, everything. Deal. I, I mean, can't wait to get this thing out on some dirt. Some oh, gravel, yeah. This is going to be great. Pavement. Oh, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. As always, we are the good fellas. And the reason is because best fellas would just be too arrogant to put anywhere. You damn skippy. So me and Larry, we're going to have some beers. You guys, enjoy. We hope we did a good review on the unboxing. Larry, anything you'd like to say? Well, in closing, I'd like to say Tank's got our dog over here. His bulldog. I love that dog. That dog's great. Yeah, she's lazy.